Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about how we can build the basic user interface in Shiny app. In my previous video of Shiny, I have told you how we can build up the basic little uh, Shiny app. It was nothing actually, we were just printing some text on the browser, nothing else. But today, uh, I'll be showing you how we can build up the basic UI uh, in the Shiny app. So let's first uh, create the app using this RStudio server. I've already have opened up this RStudio server in front of you. And I'm just uh, making up a uh, app here. The name of the app may be app three, all right, something. So it is my app. You can see it here. We all know that in a previous video, I've told you that uh, when you create the uh, web app of Shiny, uh, it will be showing you some basic template. We just, we just have to override these, this template only, right? So let, let's start with this. Um, I've already have prepared one notepad file in which uh, I've added few uh, contents which I'll be covering up in this video. Okay, let's start. First of all, how we can add the plain text to a UI, although we have covered this part in a previous video that how we can add some text uh, to the base to the UI. All right, so let's do it again. So in this case, we just have to override the fluid page, okay, which is we, uh, we all know it's a function used to create the uh, uh, empty UI. All right, so what, we, what I have to do in this case, I just have to uh, override this entire content with my this one, okay? So this is done and I don't want this, uh, I want my uh, this uh, server function to be empty. I don't want this as well. So I've saved it and let's run the app. Okay, you can see it here, country IND, country India got printed. This is how we can add the text to the UI, all right? So it's a first little thing. Next thing is how we can add the formatted text and other HTML elements. The good part of the Shiny is that it supports all the HTML tags, whatever you have learned previously, all right? So let's suppose I've given some examples here. We can use header, uh, we can use H1 for top level header. We can use S2 for secondary header, strong to make the text bold, EM to make the text italicized br for break img for image it means whatever the uh, things we are having in html tags we can use it as a function in the shiny so let's do it let's uh, uh, replace my existing fluid page with this in which i have just added uh, h1 means i want to put a header my app with the header one at uh, the abc xyz then i am having a break with the br function and then i'm putting the uh, india in the uh, in, in the bold letters so i'm putting the strong function here let's do it so what I'll be doing, I'll just be replacing my this existing fluid page with this, okay? Saving it again and reloading the app and you can see, see a change here. You can see it here, my app got printed as a header, ABC, XYZ, then I have a break available, PQR, then I'm having a India in the bold letters, all right? So this is the second point. that It means that it supports all the HTML tags, whatever we have learned previously in the HTML language. Moving further, how we can add the title? Uh, I just want to have a, a big title uh, at the top of the page. I can use it with the function title panel. Let's replace this existing fluid page with this in which I'm having a title pa panel in which I've written shiny tutorial. So you will simply see here that only the shiny tutorial will be shown at the top. Okay, saving it and running the app. And you'll be finding the shiny tutorial at very top. It's nothing but it's done with the help of the uh, title function okay title panel function all right this is how we can add the title now how we can add the layout so uh, we'll be using this uh, sidebar layout to add the simple structure it will be providing us the two column layout with the smaller sidebar and the larger main panel so for this uh, we'll be using the sidebar layout it will be having sidebar panel sidebar panel uh, where you will be finding uh, some smaller sidebar to the left and the main panel to the right so let's do it so in this case, I'm, I'm now replacing uh, my existing fluid page with this uh, little content in which I'm having a title panel function followed by a sidebar layout. Inside this, we have a sidebar panel available and main panel available. You will you'll, you'll understand better when I uh, do it in front of you, then you'll be understanding what's going on, okay? I'm just replacing this uh, uh, existing user interface, my this interface, I'm just saving it again and running the app and you'll find here shiny tutorial it's coming because of the uh, the panel the title panel then i'm having on the left side i've added this uh, sidebar panel uh, our results will go here so uh, my input will go here and the our results will go to the right side which is my main panel all right this is the point this is how uh, we can do it 
so this is uh, how we can add the layout in which i'm using the sidebar layout to add the simple structure we have a two column layout with the smaller sidebar and larger main panel so let let's populate this because it's not uh, not not uh, uh, not meant anything so let let's populate this uh, thing as well so how we can add the inputs to the ui we can uh, add the inputs to a ui with these functions we have a lot of functions available text input function numeric input functions so i want to take the input from a user so let, let's suppose like text input will help uh, will uh, used to let the user enter text a numeric input lets the user select a number date input uh, is for selecting the date and select input it's for creating the select box or we can say it a drop down menu so uh, all the input function whatever we are having it's it's not end of the list it's very uh, it's quite a, a large list available for adding the inputs all the input functions will be having a uh, first two arguments will be a input id and label so what is input id it will be the name that shiny will use to refer to this input when uh, you want to retrieve its current value and label uh, specifies what you want to show over there okay let let's uh, do uh, do it let, then you'll be understanding in much better thing so in this case i want to have the slider input slider input meaning is like i can slide the things from left to right like i said that all the input function will have a two arguments input id input id will be uh, will be anything it will be unique id actually so which uh, the shiny will use to refer to this input uh, so this is my label it means the price will be displayed on a top of it i can specify the range 0 to 100 uh, minimum uh, 0 to 100 and i also can specify the uh, slider okay and i specify the prefix okay let's do it first and then uh, you'll be understanding it better so what i'll be doing i'm replacing my existing uh, ui with this in which i'm having now the input available uh, let's do it so in this case uh, i'm going back to my this ui and i'm replacing it here and saving it here and running the app and you'll be finding okay so this is my uh, thing okay you can see it here currently uh, let me show you what we have done in this case let me open up my this thing side by side okay in this case what we have done we have a price as a label you can see it here price we have a minimum 0 minimum 0 maximum 100 we have a prefix dollar okay value we have set as 25 to 40 okay this is a value we have set at 25 to 40 you can change it as well we'll do it later that how by changing the slider my output will change okay we'll make it dynamic in a while so results will go here it's because we have added the uh, main panel here okay so in the sidebar layout in the sidebar panel now earlier we used to have only the text right the inputs will go here now my input is simply replaced with the slider input so moving further we can also add the radio button as well so uh, for that again the the things will be same it will be having two uh, input form uh, the two arguments the this one uh, this is input id this is a label and in this case we can specify the choices that what uh, what's a choice uh we are added here beer refreshment spirits wine and selected wine okay let's do it so what what i'll be doing i'll be now replacing my existing this uh, sidebar input with the slide bar with the radio buttons okay let's uh, replace this with the existing uh, ui it means we can we can uh, define if anything it's up to your requirement what you want to achieve or what your problem statement is okay reloading the app and you'll be finding the radio buttons got added you can see it here so product type because of the label it's showing here the beer refreshment uh, spirits wine it's been displayed here okay by default it's uh, showing wine because we have added the uh, selected is equal to wine we can, in the same way we can also have the drop down uh, thing available in this case we can use the select input again we have a two uh, input uh, arguments we have a input id then we have a country the label and we have a choices canada france italy let's do it uh, for this i'm again replacing my existing uh content uh, existing ui with the this ui and this will be the last point of th this video uh, let's check it out so wh what will be the change i'll be getting you can see it here we have a drop down menu available canada france italy because by default canada is got selected because we have already have written uh, that uh, uh, you can see it here canada france italy so this is how things went okay so canada is automatically selected we can change it as well uh, depending upon the choices so the way uh, we have changed the country the results will be affected accordingly all right so this marks the end of this video uh, in which i have covered up the basic uh, uh, ui controls 
I will be continuing with the same topic in the next video as well by adding some more advanced option. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.